and hello everyone, welcome back to some Dragon Quest IX. You have just missed, actually, quite a wonderful piece of music. Uh, not in the game, oh no, my stomach. Played a wonderful symphony of hunger, and uh, I don't know why. I've just eaten a bunch of fig rolls, why is it still grumbling like a son of a bitch? I don't know. Anyway, that's besides the point, we are back at All Trades Abbey. Because if you remember last time, I wasn't really sure how I was supposed to progress the story. We, we explored the entire region around here, and we found a little fishing town that had a little bit of a strange situation going on. I know how to progress that now. I think I was supposed to talk to the little girl again, who was summoning Leviathan. And so I'm going to do that later, but first we're back here at the Abbey, like I said we would. Did I say we would come back here? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We are here now anyway. And what we need to do, apparently, is talk to this guy again. Uh, you're searching for a shining fruit, you say? Well, as it happens, Abbot Jack was given a fruit that might match that description by someone who came for a change of vocation. I think that uh, the person in question is still here in the Abbey somewhere. Ask around and perhaps you'll find something out. Well, jolly gosh, let's do that then. Uh, it's, pr it's probably not any of you chaps, is it? Um, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna say no to this guy. It's alright for you then, the abbot skipped town, so the rest of us uh, have to hang about while well, Lemon's waiting for a change of vocation. Alright, well, okay. Uh, it's not... yeah, it's not any of you, is it? A, f a figamajig? Can't help you there, I'm afraid. I'm growing, uh, growing veggies, me. Nice root veggies. I don't know nothing about fruit. You gotta have a balanced diet, mate. You can't just rely on vegetables. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I I can't really talk. <laughs> I don't I don't have the best of diets. Um, right, he, st he still wants to be a maid. Uh, so let's go back down here then. I mean, at least the abbey isn't that large, so the guy must be around here somewhere. Is it Rab? Came here with the intention of giving up the old buying and selling game. Oh, you're just... Oh, shit, you're the merchant. No, no, no. No, thanks. Is it you? A shining fruit? Well, yes. The abbot had one of them uh, with him when he went in... When he came in to lunch the other day. He's very partial to his fruit, you know. I hope he didn't bloody eat it. He likes to have fruit for dessert, so I peeled it and gave it to him after he'd finished his main meal. Oh, shit. He told me that he'd been given it by a man who wanted to change his vocation and became a martial artist. Oh. We did talk to someone like that, didn't we? Was it not the dude up top? I want to chat to this guy again. But he ate the fig? That can't be good. People say he's uh, not the sort of bloke who just run off. Yeah, well, maybe if he's eaten some sort of divine fruit. Might have caused him to lose a few marbles. Yeah, this is the guy, isn't it? Yes. Have I seen a shiny fruit? Yes, uh, I have, as it happens. I gave a fruit like that to the abbot. I picked it up on the way here. Uh, I heard that the abbot was crazy about fruit, so I thought it might help things along. Bribes. I don't know uh, what he did with it after I gave it him. I saw him talking to the barmaid in the pub, and that's it. Yeah, he's eating it. We know that now, but how do we... We don't have any leads on where the abbot actually is yet. You're saying the same shit. What about... What about the... Barman? See, I've spoken to the martial artist. He didn't really have anything to say. Uh, well, uh, I do like to dabble in a few unusual items, but I don't have anything like that. I know, I've just spoken to the maid. I'm not getting anywhere here. I'm really not. Let me see if we try... Let's say no. No? Good. Oh. I was just about to leave. I need to get stuck into my training now. I'm a martial artist. Well, shit. I wonder if we have to go talk to... the main guy again. <coughs> oh, no, never mind. We get a cutscene. Still, uh, well, it doesn't look like uh, old Fat Gats is here out either. Where the flap has he got to? I don't know. 
Hang on, I got a sneaky suspicion one of those fruits you're after was here till not long ago. Yes, we've established this. And something tells me this Abbot Jack character might have gone and made a meal of it. Literally, yes. I reckon you should find that important looking man again and ask him if he knows anything. And then get after the Abbot. That's exactly what I was about to do, Stella, before you interrupted me. Hmm. Ah, these guys have all dispersed. Hello, Mr. Important Looking Man. Ah, it's you. What? Are you sure? The abbot left the abbey after eating the fruit you mentioned? I see. It harbors some mysterious power, does it? Well... Of course, the Tower of Trades! Let me guess, the tower that I tried to get in last time, but it was locked. Legend tells it that it is where the vocation-changing rite was carried out in the days of yore. But now, it is overrun with monsters. Yeah, monsters! Under normal circumstances, the abbot would never have considered venturing into such a dangerous place, but... Well, if you say this fruit may have afforded him magical powers, perhaps his curiosity finally got the better of him. Oh dear, I don't like to ask, but uh, there is no one else. Could you possibly go to the tower and bring the abbot back? What do you mean there's no one else? There's a martial artist downstairs. All right, yep, yeah, let's do this. Oh, thank you. Before you go, let me teach you the secret way to enter the tower. Oh, please do. You must stand at the entrance and take a bow. Oh, I wonder if we could have got in earlier then, if we'd done that. Would that have worked? I wonder. Yep, I know exactly where it is. Right, off we pop then. Uh, do I need to heal? Nah, not really. I did, uh, I did say I was going to get some more materials off screen and try and do more crafting, but none of the materials actually spawned. So either n not enough time had passed, or something else. But I'm sure maybe after this video I'll get a chance to go grab a few more and maybe craft some more goodies. That would be pretty sweet. Do, 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 do. So we must venture past all these guys again through the very narrow walkway but it's okay we've made it unscathed right so how do we do the freaking I always press that button I always press the wrong button all right so what we need to do we need to assign some party tricks and Let's take a bow, wherever the hell a bow is. Where the hell's a bow? Uh... We don't have... We don't have it. Wait. Surely he should have taught it us then. How the hell do you learn how to take a bow? I'm not... Am I losing my mind? There it is! Oh my god, I am blind! I didn't see it! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry to- I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I just wasted like, a valuable minute of your time. Oh, I've got my glasses on too, there is no excuse. Anyway, let's try this again. Ah, oh, excellent. The party trick seems to do the trick. The door opens. Yay, let's go inside. Tower of Trades. Here we are. Oh, and we've got some more poisonous fun ghouls around. Oh, lamb's wool. Excellent, eh? Now, I'm pretty sure we've fought these things before, but I'm going to fight this guy anyway. A mushroom mage draws near. Okay, maybe it isn't quite the same then. Let's destroy it. Uh, one thing I did off screen, Olivia leveled up when I was searching for the materials. So she's level 18 now, and I gave... Mariella, the scale armor that I wasn't wearing anymore. And that's about it, really. Oh, what's he dropped? Another bell cap. Great. And I know I'm always apologizing for this. It's because it's always the fucking case. 
I just, I feel like I sound really rough. Ooh, a zombie. Walking corpses and a jinxter. Okay, let's take out the jinxter first. And let's get a crackle on the uh, on the zombies. Tough. Only 10 damage, not too bad. 19 damage though, that's a little bit worse. Oh, Ricardo finishing one of them off with the dagger. You don't see that every day. Right, no XP. Well, no uh, levels up there. I think. The rest of us are kind of far away from leveling. Right. Well, it looks like we've got two sets of stairs. Should we go... Let's just have a look over here first. So no... Uh, no chests around here. Just more barrels. Oh, Chimero Inc. And a wing of bats! Fucking finally! Right, we can go hand in that quest now. That's that's at least something. That's good. I shall have to remember to do that. Right, level two. Whoa! Oh, shit. He spawned on top of me. I could barely avoid him. Right. Attack. You might want to heal, maybe. Just heal yourself, yep. Olivia, do your thing, and Ricardo, another crackle, please. I actually treated myself to an icy cold can of Diet Coke. Oh, I'm rubbing it on me on my face right now. It feels so good. Oh. Oh, it's got it's gotten it's not really warm today, but it's it's gotten sunny again. So, it was absolutely awful weather yesterday. Absolutely pissing it down. And that was like the one night that I decided to go out for a drink with my mates. Typical. Luckily, I managed to get a lift down to the pub, so I didn't get wet at all. Haha! <laughs> but still, the rain tried. Um, I don't know, let's try a mercurial thrust. For a change, Olivia's poisoned. Actually, no, let's cure that because that's going to be annoying otherwise. And another crackle, please. Oh, come on, Mariella. I wanted you to cure Olivia before the end of the fight. Now I'm going to have to go into the menu and do it myself. Uh, it's not a big deal, is it? But still. Squelch. Olivia, and you might as well heal mage. In fact, I could have just done a heal all. That would have been quicker, possibly. That slime knight is right on top of me. It's a good job they can't interrupt you in the menus, isn't it? That would be quite annoying. Right. Run! Run! Down the oh, down the shit! No, I didn't want to go down the stairs. I suppose it got me away from the enemies, though. Right, this is a dead end. I see a fuck ton of pots there. Um, oh, we can go outside. What a lovely balcony this is! Oh my lord, three blue chests. Open the gate. Yeah, there we go. Medicinal herb. I don't know why I get so excited about blue chests, because they never really have anything that decent. Ooh, mystifying mixture might be okay, though. And 240 gold coins, I'll take that. That ain't too bad. Um, was there anything... It was a dead end. Whoa, leave me... Why do slimes still want to fight me? Right. 
Well, I'm going to be smashing a bunch of these pots in a second. Oh, nothing? Really? Okay, so that's set of stairs. Goes back to the first floor. To the third level we go, and ooh, what is this? Mage reads the inscription, A vocation is a door to boundless potential. The ability to choose one's vocation is the inalienable right of all mortals. I see. And what's this suspicious looking pillar doing? Nothing at all. Leave me alone, slimes. A nice little pool of water. Go for a nice refreshing dip. Oh, what's what the hell's this? Have we fought one of these before? Some Drachimas. <laughs> well, we're fighting them now. Please crackle attack all of them. Yes. Oh, they're weak as hell. Dude, so weak. Very nice. Right, so there's... What do we do up here? Where the hell is the abbot? Oh, Mr. Red Chest. A mini medal. Sweet, leave me be, jinxsters. Son of a whore. I don't see the abbot anywhere, and I've pretty much explored all of his floor, haven't I? Oh, they know bang? Ow, dude. Not cool, man. Three damage. Aww. Oh, Ricardo's trying his bestest. Yeah, where the hell do we go? Oh shit, there's a, some stairs on the far left. I just didn't go all the way around because I'm an idiot. Here we go. Right, okay, Mr. Red Chest, how do I get to you around this way? Uh, ho ho, two. Wow, 1,200 gold coins. Oh god, I've made so many friends. Ah, uh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped, god damn it. Shit. Then again, these things are weak anyway. I still don't, I've not opened my can of coke yet. I need to. I need to take a swig of that glorious carbonated beverage. It might help my throat out a little bit. Ugh, Mage falls asleep. Mariella falls asleep. Everyone falls asleep, apart from goddamn Olivia, who's already attacked. Bastards. Bloody bastards. I think that was probably a waste using Crackle there, but never mind. Ugh. Alright, so what's going on here? What's all these fancy symbols on the floor? I don't know, but I'm going to do a he uh, heal all. While I take another swig of my beverage. Mm. Oh, so good. We nearly got 10,000 gold, by the way. How mental is that? Okay, now this might be a little bit confusing if it weren't for uh, for the fact that you've got a map right below you. <laughs> I'm going to check this. Oh yeah, I knew there'd be something here. I knew it, and the slime is not doing a very good job of guarding that, but more iron ore. Excellent. Yeah, once we're done with this place, I'm definitely going to try, or in between videos, try and get more... Uh, materials so we can get some of that lovely steel equipment. File of magic water. Oh, 
This reminds me a lot of, uh, for some reason, I don't know why. I suppose because it's a tower as well, but Alexandria Tower in 8. It reminds me so much of it. Oh, hello, Mr. Heavily Armored Shield Man. Restless Armor. Let's try a crack. Nice. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. I actually, I'm really happy with Marielle using the spear. It's so nice having a healer that can actually do decent damage physically. We, we just got a suit of iron armor for free. That's pretty awesome. Nice. I know it's not as good as what we've got. In fact, I think it is what we've got, isn't it? Oh, Iron Curus. Is it better? Oh, we can't equip it. It's only warriors that can equip it. And something else. Maybe Thief? That's a shame. Never mind. Can it... Yeah. Right. Well, there we go. At least we've got it. Sort of... Really? Attack me before I even get to see what's in the chest? What kind of a low, dirty trick is that? Kill him. Kill him quickly. Oh, yes. I didn't even see what the hell was in that chest. Oh, and they... Well, at least they've dropped another wing of bat. So what was in the chest? I didn't even see. What about if we check our items? It could have been anything, though. Could have been goddamn it, anything. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it's something that we've already had then. Maybe it was a lava lump? I have no idea. Not a Scooby Doo, mate. Goddamn Dracky Mars. Ah, more jinxters and holy shit! How many zombies do you need in, in one tower? Come on, it's a bit excessive. But it's fine because we've got the power of the crackle spell. And I can hear Max, my dog, barking at something downstairs. I don't know what it is. Probably nothing important. Oh, one problem with drinking Diet Coke when you're recording is all the belching. Oh. Oh, I thought he, oh, I thought he poisoned me then. No, he didn't. That's okay. Why didn't I use another crackle? Why didn't I do that? Oh well. Save a bit of MP. Which Ricardo kind of is running low on, actually. I've not been paying attention. That's alright. Because I don't know, is there going to be a boss at this tower? A boss at the top of this tower, sorry? What's he dropped? A massive manky mud. Wonderful. Right. I really don't want to fight anyone. No, that's where I just came from. Alright, so let's try. Yeah, let's go around the outside. First of all, anything else? Just a couple of pots. Oh, another wing of bat. Holy shit, dude. And a midi medal. Wow. How many of those have we got now? Like five? Four or five? Zombie. God damn it. No, it's only two of them, though. It's only two of them. Uh, I'm gonna save my crap. I'm gonna save some of my MP. I just have a bad feeling that we might be uh, getting into a, a boss encounter soon. I mean, what if the Abbot's with his newfound magical powers from the Fig? What if he's gone a bit mental and he just attacks us? That's my fear. Oh, poison Ricardo, you son of a whore! 
Max is barking his little tits off. Oh, I dropped another bit of manky mud. Wonderful. Well, at least our skin will appreciate that. Right, Mariella Squelch. Ricardo is no longer poisoned! Yay! Alrighty. Level 6. Is this the top? No, there is another set of stairs still. This this is one freaking tall tower. Uh, let's do another heal all. Just to keep ourselves topped up. You never know what could be around the next corner. Not much as it seems, although there is a dead end this way. There must be really nothing over here. Oh, you're tempting me with dead ends, game. You're trying to get me in trouble. Right, we are at the top. What the hell? Is that like a giant glowing door in the sky? Do not go lightly into a new vocation. You, uh, you who uh, would start anew, once chosen, your new calling will shape the rest of your days. Well, I don't really care about that right now. I care about these chests. More magic water. Well, we can use that to get more MP back for Ricardo, can't we? In fact, do we have some magic water in our inventory? Oh, Ricardo has it. That's fine. That's okay, then. Nothing on that pedestal, or... I don't know what the hell you would call them. Is that it? It's only one... Ch oh, no, two chests. That's fine. Another mini medal! Holy shit, like three mini medals in one place? Right, well, let's see what the hell this is. Ah, the abbot, I presume. Ooh, are we, are we ready for this? I don't know. I don't know. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go save. Right, let's have a word with the abbot, see what happens. Almighty power that commands all trades. Oh, mysterious force that drives the winds of change. Come, come to me, ne Hmm? <laughs> Who dares interrupt to this holy ceremony? If your purpose is to disrupt this, uh, the rights, your efforts shall be in vain. No, no, I'm not. I'm just wondering what the hell you're doing. None shall interfere with the will of the heavens. The power is mine now. The power of supreme guidance. The wisdom to lead my flock uh, um, along only the brightest of paths. And now I, Abbot Jack of all trades, <laughs> Abby, implore you to... To grant me yet more power, that I may guide yet more lost souls. He's gone absolutely balmy, hasn't he? Fill me now. Uh, anoint me. Grant me the gift of ultimate guidance. Oh shit, that doesn't look too holy, does it? Not very divine. Oh. Looks like he's been hit by... Uh... Oh my god. What have I become? I don't know. I'm wondering that myself. This hideous form. Am I a monster? This darkness, this black power, it is not what I wished for. Well, you gotta be careful what you wish for. Oh shit. Oh great. Through tyranny and fear that I shall ensure my charges follow the righteous path. Power, absolute power, corrupts ab absolutely, or, you know. Oh, God. He looks like Cell. He's got Cell's tail. Ugh. I don't want to get touched by that. I am become master of Nuan, and all will learn to obey me or suffer my wrath. <laughs> well, well, what perfect timing. I was just looking for a subject on whom to test this true, the true extent of my newfound power. I wonder, will you allow me to guide you on the righteous path? Or will you suffer the consequences of disobedience? 
God damn it. <laughs> Master of none. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Let's, uh. Let's kick his ass. Let's do, um. Well, I would assume he's gonna be a bit of a magic user. I don't know. Should we try. Try insulating someone. I don't know if he's gonna use breath attacks though, so let's not do that just yet. Let's try a buff on Ricardo. Olivia get stuck in with uh, your propeller blade. And Ricardo. I guess we'll try the a sap to start off with. Jolly good, jolly good. Ricardo looks just so happy all the time. It's great, isn't it? Drain magic. Well, that's fine. Drain it from mage all you want. Crackling lightning? Ow! Now, that wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice at all. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to egg on Targaryen, uh, Olivia. Mariella's just going to do, I guess, a heal on Ricardo. Olivia is going to defend, because I, I want to try and build up her tension as much as possible. And Ricardo, you're going to accelerate, or accelerate everyone. It'd be nice if I could get Olivia to, like, 50 tension or something. But, in doing this, you do kind of lose the ability to attack with two people. Like, that's damage that we could have had on him now that we don't have, so I don't know if it's really worth it. What do you guys think? Hmm, not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it now anyway. I've started, so I might as well finish. I'm gonna do... Uh, a mid-heal on Mage. Actually, no one on Mariella herself. Olivia defend again. And Ricardo. I don't know, we'll try another crack spell. Well, a crack spell. 35 damage, ain't too shabby. 20 tension. Oh, he's buffing himself, is he? At least, well, his defense is back to normal now. Ow! You suck. Right, one more time. Because I know you can learn the psych-up ability with people so they can psych-up themselves instead, but I don't have that right now. So, hopefully Mage will psych her up before she attacks, because I'm going to have Olivia attack. I'm also going to have mid-heal on Mage. Olivia, go for it. And Ricardo, uh, another crack spell. Oh, she attacked first. Oh, well. I forget she's so goddamn fast. So, at least she's got another bit of tension there. Whoosh. Uh-oh. Ricardo's in danger. I'm just going to have Mage attack. Mariella mid-heal on Ricardo. Another Propeller Blade. Very trippy sort of... Uh, background, isn't it? It's all sparkly in. That's it, yeah, take Mage's MP all- I don't care. No! Oh no, Ricardo's been healed, that's fine. Oh, I nearly, <laughs> nearly panicked there for no reason. Right, attack. Heal. How much MP does it use for a mid-heal? Four? That's not too bad. Right, last propeller blade that we can do. Or should I do a war cry? Wait, Warcry doesn't use any MP? Oh, never mind then. Okay. 
Oh, you know what? I should have done another sap, actually. But I reckon this guy's still got quite a bit of health. I reckon he's going to be a bit of a tough cookie. Ooh. Olivia definitely needs it. Attack, and yeah, let's do another sap. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it, we don't have enough MP. Okay, well, I could use some magic water. I think I'm going to do that. Go. Oh yeah, we definitely want to use sap on him now. Dude! Why did that do so much damage? Holy crap! In fact, mage can do some healing too. Let's uh let's heal himself. Yes. Mariella, you heal Ricardo. Olivia, focus on attacking. And let's reduce his defense a little bit. Otherwise, this fight's gonna go on forever. There we go. Oh, that goddamn whoosh spell. It's not quite as bad as the lightning one, though. Right, attack, heal yourself, and let's, let's do another sap as well. Oh, he isn't affected? Fuck. No, don't be draining Ricardo's, you son of a bitch. Attack. Heal. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. At least he's not healing himself. Oh, we've got him. He wasn't too tough. Master of None has been defeated. That reminds me, I think I've got some skill points with Olivia to spend as well. Uh, right, so that's five for Ricardo. I was just putting them into spellcraft, wasn't I? Yeah, let's just focus. Focus, focus. Uh, into focus. There we go. So we're not going to learn anything this time. Ariella, are you going to learn anything new? Ah, she's learned the Zing spell. Wonderful. Yes, now we have a means of reviving people. About goddamn time. Now, what was I doing with you? Was I going to focus on spears or what? I don't know. Oh, faith. No, I think I'm going to focus on spears. And what's he dropped for us? A lava lump. No, my power, my newfound power. Ugh. What what am I doing here? And who who are you? Why are you here? You're looking for a shining fruit, you say? Yes, of course. I ate a shining fruit, and I, I re remember very little after that. I only remember a terrifying feeling that I was losing myself. Hmm? You say that I took on a monstrous form and was hell-bent on guiding my flock through fear and tyranny? And it was you who saved me from this warped version of myself? I see. Well, I must return to the Abbey. There are lost souls there in need of my guidance. Dude. Oh. Oh, the fig! 
Yep. And it's funny, you know what, I, when I started this video, I said I'd been eating fig rolls. I didn't even remember or make the link between the fact that I'm playing this game today and the whole fucking plot currently revolves around figs. You know, uh, it's just, oh, a cosmic coincidence. But my god, those fig rolls are good. Oh, I love fig rolls. Anyway, how, yeah, how the hell is that thing intact? Well, I don't care. We've got one. What that means exactly, I don't know. I'm over the rainbow for you, but can't help worrying after seeing what, um, what eating one can do to even a mild-mannered old mortal like the abbot. Ah, oh, well, not much we can do about it, eh? Let's go back to, uh, get back to the abbey and see what this vocation change and stuff's all about. Yeah, it's about time we... Uh, we learned how to do that, I think. Right, can I... Can I zoom back from here? I don't think there's anything above my head that would stop me, but you never know. Zoom back to the abbey. The spell fails. Fuh. Right, let's try evac then. Because the evac spell in Dragon Quest XI was completely freaking useless. So it's, it is actually kind of nice having to use it again. Right, all trades, Abby. Off we pop. Right, so I'm not really certain if I will change any vocations at this point, but... I at least want to see how the whole thing works. So, you have reached uh, level 15 as a martial artist, I see. I am Brusk Lee. Uh, Br Brusk Lee, sorry. Student of Grandmaster Wun Tun Punch. Unspoken questions beg the most answers. You seek the knowledge of ultimate combat from the Grandmaster, no? Well, Olivia would certainly benefit from that. But the ant may not speak to the elephant without climbing its trunk. My lesson comes first. You will defeat five scare wolves. But my lesson is not so easy. You will make them quail with a terrifying war cry and only then deliver the final blow. Well, we've got war cry. We know that. We can do that. Grandmaster One Tone Punch completed this lesson when he was a mere six years old. So do you accept? Uh, I don't have any MP right now, so I'm going to decline. Oh wait, if it's just a quest though... Maybe we just have to go out and find the scare wolves? I'm going to accept it. This lesson will teach your mind to remain still while your heart pounds. Alright, cry wolf. <laughs> cool, cool. Are you now a maid, Mr... I don't know. Mr. Lee is very kind. He gave me shelter when I had nowhere else to turn. And nowhere else to go and no family to turn to. Uh, most generous man. Yeah, he seems pretty nice. Pursue your chosen vocation and you will learn new abilities. The Almighty blesses those who devote themselves to their calling. Yeah, because I, I did want to be a warrior. I wish I could have started off as a warrior instead of a minstrel, but... Oh well. The abbot's back at last. Apparently he was doing some training up a tower. Or whatever. Put your put your wind up every put the wind up everyone, yeah. I struggle to read this so fucking much. This font sucks. Um What's that you're doing at the moment then? Oh, you're a minstrel, are you? Can't handle all the attention, eh? Yeah, I'd change my vocation and all if I was you. I might not do. Look at this dude. The Holy Knighthood of the Armamentalist. The Conjury of Elemental Wonders. The in Inatesimable Allure of the Force. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? The Force. The graceful and skillful dispatch of one's foes. Truly, it is the vocation of the blessed. You have the eye of one who knows true beauty. Do you wish to join the hallowed fraternity of the Armamentalists? I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. But I don't know. Do I? You're wise as the trees of the wood 
Friend, I am Windy, but before you join the Order, you must undergo some training. To become an armamentalist, you must learn to wield the power of Mother Nature. You must become one with the Force. Oh my god. Erect a wizard ward before defeating two metal slimes, and you will see that such a feat is simplicity itself. But beware, the one who erects the wizard ward must be the one who delivers the final blow for the kill to count. That sounds like a really fucking hard quest. Because metal slimes, as we know, like to run away. Okay. The Wizard Ward will channel the mighty power of nature from your surroundings. Well, do you accept the challenge? Yeah, we'll accept it. I don't know when we're going to ever get round to that, but... The Armamentalist sounds... pretty cool. Already I can conjure in my mind images of your fiery determination driving you to the completion of this task. Good luck. I'm going to bloody need it. That sounds a lot harder than the Cry Wolf one. Oh, is this the dude that wanted to be a maid? Yeah, yeah. Did it? Did he do it? But the pompous old oh, f oh, he wouldn't. He wouldn't do it. I suppose I should have seen it coming. I can't be a maid until I found someone who will employ me as one. Oh, I th oh, I was so hoping that he he would be wearing like you know your stereotypical sexy French maid outfit. I am disappointed. Very disappointed. Anyway, Mr. Abbott. Ah, hello, mage. I thank you again for helping me out of my little predicament at the Tower of Trades before. I wonder what in the name of the Almighty was in that strange fruit. Yeah, I'm wondering that myself. I was merely seeking a way to better guide my flock. Though the fruit clearly had extraordinary properties, sadly I could not control its power. It consumed me. So maybe the figs are okay for Celestrians to eat, but not mortals. Maybe they just go insane. Such a fruit should never have passed mortal lips. Well, there you go. If you hadn't managed to stop me, I fear I may have destroyed the mortal world altogether. You weren't that strong. You were strong, but you weren't that strong. I'm in your debt. At the very least, I hope my powers can be of assistance to you on your travels. As the abbot of All Trades Abbey, it is my duty to help people change their vocations and broaden their horizons. Alright, let's see how we do this. When it took on that monstrous form, I could sense the fear that fills the hearts of my flock, yada yada yada. I do not yet know what events are brewing in the world, but as long as there are de uh, devotees wishing to change their vocations here at All Trades Abbey, my duty is clear. So decide what your calling is to be, my child, and I shall lead you on your chosen path. Oh my god, you talk so much, dude. Yes. Uh, well, let's say mage for now. So, we could... We have six options. Now, obviously, we're not going to have another mage, martial artist, or a priest. We're okay in that respect. But warrior or thief? I mean, thief would be great, because, you know, you can steal items. Which might be useful for quests and stuff. So maybe one day, but the problem is, I don't want to go back to level one. Although, saying that, obviously you'll be able to get more skill points this way, and also, we still have pretty good equipment, so is it going to be that bad? I mean, our health and stats would be pretty low, but our defense shouldn't really suffer, and our weapon is still going to kick ass. So maybe I'll, I'll try it. You know what? I'm going to try it. I can always swap back. So, we're going to see how this goes. Oh, almighty arbiter of something, I didn't get a chance to read that. Oh my god, I'm naked. Well, I'm not. I'm obviously wearing a shirt and pants. Right, I've, I'm a warrior, baby. Remember, with any new vocation come new equipment restrictions, you must outfit yourself appropriately. Right. Let's do this then. Mage. Is there a way of, like, optimizing equipment, or do I have to do this all manually? Anyway, we know we have Steel Broadsword. Of course, we're going to be weaker at first, but hopefully it won't take too long to catch back up. Now, 
we should be able to equip all the stuff we had before. Oh, we can't equip the feather headband. Okay. We can equip the iron armor now, though. Ooh, which looks pretty badass. Uh, iron gauntlets, yep. Iron kneecaps. And iron sabatons. And... Oh, the slime earrings are better, okay. Cool. So, he's not quite as powerful now, he's back to level 1, but... I reckon I might off-screen do a little bit of leveling with him and see if we can build up a good number of skill points again. Uh, in fact, do we have any with him right now? No. Okay. And yes, hopefully off-screen as well, I'm going to try and get more materials and maybe make some new steel equipment. Uh, specifically for Mage, probably at first at least. But uh, that's where this video is going to end, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, hopefully Mage will be a little bit more up to speed, and uh, we will go back to uh, the port village and sort out all that business. Hope you look forward to that. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking with this so far. I really, really appreciate how many people are watching this. That is, it blows my mind. I freaking love how well these Dragon Quest Let's Plays do. And I, I love the fact that I love the game so much too. So it's a win-win. But anyway, I've been babbling on long enough. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.